Hello and welcome back to the Metropol Grid. My name is Andre. My name is Patrick, and I have a little present for you, Andre. Oh boy, w what? <laughs> well, let's open it up. Rip, 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 rip. It's a game of Netrunner. <laughs> Excellent. Um, hey, this is the holiday season, uh, so we have some Netrunner for you. This is a summer kit, which is a bit uh, anachronistic. Is that sure. The right yeah, 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 anachronistic. Well, okay. Um, and thanks for tuning in. This is round three, game one. Okay. Um, and that is still top table. That is me on the left. And on the right, we have Roberto. He is playing some Engineering the Future. That's the nice alt art Engineering the Future from, I think, a year ago Nice now. little handshake. It's very friendly. Yeah, it's very friendly. Uh, getting along with the Byroids. Uh, real funny, actually, we had about seven minutes on camera that we just fast forwarded through here in which I was shuffling my deck and I ripped one of my sleeves and then we panicked and we were in a game store, obviously. So I went to buy, <laughs> I went to buy new sleeves, but they didn't have pink matte sleeves. No. Yeah. So then I had to buy new sleeves and then me and Roberto were unsleeving my deck without looking at my deck, obviously. And then we realized halfway through, wait a second, why don't you just unsleeve Max? Yep. And give her the rip sleeve. There so we then we had to re-sleeve my deck, and now Max has this awesome punk rock. That's the kind of resourcefulness that we yeah. have to expect from the network community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, that's if... a really good anecdote. <laughs> Thank you. I'm playing now with punk rock Max. Right. Um, and we are off. So, this is right after the Worlds. This is after Date and Destiny. I am like 80% confident that Roberto is going to be playing something along the lines of food codes. Right. Global Food is a tremendous card. Yeah, HP got real good with All that of a sudden. food code. Well, you know what? It's a big deal. It's like having three less agenda points in your deck. It is, you know? yeah. Um, you are trying to score three pointers, in if you do have that Caprice Ash server, it's pretty secure. It is. So I think that's actually a pretty big deal. Um, HP is super resilient. Um, I don't know how... I haven't done enough testing against the DLR decks which do exist in the meta. They're actually not as rampant as I thought they would be. No, I, I was destroyed by one at a tournament a little while ago, but I haven't seen any since then. Yeah, there was a couple at this tournament. Um, I haven't played any so far today, so we'll see how things go. Um, I am playing chess max using boont step yeah this is a guy named benny from the uk he has a youtube channel under boont he's also bayoken on uh, octagon or uh, i think jinteki now he might be playing on cool. jnet um and this is a kaisa uh, max deck um this was on the channel once before two games ago in the last matchup and i didn't actually get any of the chess pieces flowing uh, we went aggressive way too fast for that to matter. Right. It was a it was a very fast matchup. Yeah. So let's see what I can do with that. Maybe they'll they'll come into play. Uh, I think they're not the best actually against HB because HB has a lot of multi sub ice and breaking an Eli with Knight kind of sucks. It does. It does. Well, suck it's a as bad as Croder, so right. that's okay. A uh, dirty laundry into that server is gonna be that Adonis, and you want to slow down the economy. You are happy to trash that. If food coats gets their economy rolling early. Uh, you're in a bad spot because yeah. they can start to protect it. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Top, top of deck in R&D. R &D. And top deck in our piece of economy, you'll happily get rid of that, I think. Yeah, with the Dirty Laundry and Sir Gamble, I'm comfortably with two points, two Adonis in the drain, and still at six credits. That's not too bad at That's all. That's great. Good That's for you. That's pretty good. So the problem I always have against HP is face checking ice. You will find that architect. Yeah, it's always it's the architect, and now when spending all that money trashing Adonis's, you really don't want to hit an architect. Absolutely not, because they will come back and gain a credit. Uh, Rook does get punk rocked into the into the bin, and now he kind of knows what's happening here. Yeah, oh, you face checked an architect. <laughs> if turn one there's only one piece of ice on the board, it's probably an architect. Yeah, and I found it. So top five cards, we can get something nice. Out from the top of R&D. That's a lot of oh, that's ice. A, that's a lot of ice. I think there's a Jackson in there, maybe. Uh, so I guess you're going to bring that Adonis back and put ice on it? That's yeah, hard to deal yeah. with. Yeah, that would be a, that's, that'd be a good idea. Yeah. Or not. He's installed an asset or an agenda. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, if you run last click into Architect, it's really bad because you can put an agenda back. Sure. And then score it for free if it's a two for three, something like that. And he's... Okay. Oh, it's an upgrade, and he's brought back an Adonis. So that's an upgrade and Adonis. I do get one access on HQ. Hey, that's okay. okay. Good, good. So it's rather I get that before the Architect can bring it back. Um, you do get a credit for installing with the Architect because it is technically someone's turn. True. Uh, run that server, um, and that is the worst case scenario. That is a free res of an Adonis with the Breaker Bay grid. Right. So you can break your back trashing that server, and it looks like I will. Okay. Five credits. I don't think that's a bad idea. No, you need to do that. I think you have to. This is your punishment for running on the architect. Yeah, I really shouldn't have done that. 
no, you can do it. You can do yeah, right when I say Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Um, so now I'm a bit low on the money. Already two of my economy cards are in the heap. Yep. There's a couple more, for sure. You did take two at the end of that turn, so maybe you... like Yeah, you know, maybe uh, I'm... Day, day job can, uh, can help Yeah, you day out. job is fine. It's just, with max, you have to be lucky with the draw. Yeah. Like, if all your economy goes into the bin, what can you do? Um, I don't think there's Mimic in this deck, which is real unfortunate, considering <laughs> Architect. Sure. Like, no matter what, you're going to have to either knight through it or just let it fire. Uh, Count Siphon is in the bin, so I think Roberto should have a read on what my deck is doing. Uh, there's a DDoS in hand. Yeah. Which might have been, like, I don't think I've been playing this deck that well, considering D you don't want to make them res a single piece of ice unless it's a power event, like a power run. Yeah. Like, on a Count Siphon... Yeah, okay, you want to do that to make them res, but otherwise DDoS into Account Siphon is really, really good. Sure. Uh, if you have a keyhole, you have a medium, something like that, that's fine. And DDoS lasts the whole turn. It means they can't res the exactly. uttermost device for the entire turn. Yeah. That's great. Uh, Pawn is going to hit the table without a deep red. Onto a Shahrazad? Is that what that card in the corner is? No, not even. No, that's just an accelerated I stole. Oh, okay. Roberto yeah. has to read the Pawn. Um... Pawn is, has so many words on it. It has a lot of words. It's hard to explain what it does. I don't play does. this game to read. Yeah, right? Books. Um, so that pawn I can put onto a central server, and then every run I can install another card from archives. Is it every free. successful run? Every successful run okay. it advances. Sure. Yeah. So in theory I could get a rook out, throw that on R&D, or that remote server in which I have no doubt Roberto is going to put a couple pieces of ice, mm -hmm. which will add a two-credit server Per ice, uh, an extra for the res cost. Yep. Um, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's pretty That's good for free. Uh, I will have to spend a click to move it. The first deep red into the okay. bin and the knight. But that's the thing with now. Uh, oh, I should move that first. I totally, yeah, there you go. So I'm going to move that on there. If that's a successful run. I will get a knight out for free. Right. Do you want me to say how cool it is that you're using actual chess pieces for this, or were you going to bring it up? I wasn't going to bring it okay. up, actually. It's pretty cool that you're using oh. literal chess pieces for this. Thank you. Um... I've had problems actually in the past with things like Parasite or Kaizen particularly is that because on the other side of the table you forget about MU. Oh yeah, you do. So I'd actually rather have the card on my side of the table and then just move the chess pieces around like chess. I was lucky enough, I walked into a game store and asked, hey, do you have any chess pieces I could buy? And the person behind the counter actually uh, had like a chess deck, that, uh, a game of chess that was returned oh, great. with missing pieces. So he's like, yeah, just, you know, scrap whatever oh, you want. Lucky you. Cool. Yeah. So I walked out with a full Kaisa suite. Uh, deep red on the table. Chess is getting interesting. Uh, Roberto has to consider how he's going to play around this because that run into archives will get a free breaker out and that will be installed also for free. Yep. <laughs> second piece of ice does slow down he has to think about how he's going to play around this yeah it's really interesting I did discard a bishop too uh, oh I'm not decided yet no, uh, okay. yeah okay yeah, sure. I guess a knife um, bishop is also very interesting with parasite it is one of my only answers to a Turing. If you throw a Turing onto one of the centrals, which I think is actually a pretty good thing to do against Max. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, if you're worried about siphons. Of, or... of all the runners, Max is, seems to be most likely to be running an AI-focused Yeah, event. exactly. So you can just put a Parasite onto that uh, onto that Turing and then just get the Bishop out there and it basically melts immediately. Yep. Which... The Bishop affects only the ice it's hosted on? Yeah, Bishop is not it... server-wide. It's okay. only single ice. And it gives us minus two minus strength. two strength, right? You are spending two cards on it. You are. It's, it's a little rough, but sure. But with the pawn, it's not as bad, right? Because you get, you're getting the bishop. It's a bit away. better. Yeah, it's totally clumsy. Uh, it's kind of like you could have just played a surge, I guess. Sure. And uh, that's a card I don't think I've seen very often, but actually kind of exciting in a lot of ways. <laughs> I don't know. I should. Yeah. I should look at it. I mean, it's not. I'd actually say your version is better. Surge requires a virus counter to land on the card. Yeah. Before you can use it. Yeah, that's true. You have to wait until the next turn and then... Yeah, yeah. I guess. With Data Sucker, though, you could do something, right? Yeah. Oh, no, you... Yeah, it's real yeah, slow because yeah. you can't do it during a run. Right. Uh, looks like we have something new in that server. Probably either an upgrade, just laying in wait, and or some sort of campaign. I believe Roberto did throw a Cyberdex Fire Suite onto... Um, R&D. R&D. Worried about that. Worried about a medium dig, something like that. Uh, Enigma is going to end the run and lose a click. You see, again, I don't think I'm playing around the DDoS really well. Um, right, yeah. Maybe I could have DDoSed in if I thought it was an agenda. 
but I am totally willing down willing to check empty remotes just on the basis that it will upgrade my pawn, but it's a Jackson. So it's not going to be a successful run. Uh, what are you doing? Dang it. <laughs> so that's not going to work. That pawn's going to be hanging out there on the wall, static. And what good cards to shuffle back in? Yeah, those are a couple good cards. Those I mean, are the cards. They're fragile in R&D, but yeah. R&D is well protected right now. R&D is pretty well protected. And late game, those cards really sing. Oh, yeah. You get a Breaker Baker up on an Eve. Actually, that's good early game, too. But that Caprice is good once you have your server up. Sure. Um, Adonis is still Adonis. Can't say anything bad about that card. I don't think I'm in a good spot, a good space right now. Don't have a Breaker on the table. I did get an accelerated beta test. Don't have much of an econ engine. And Food Coats is just going to continue growing their servers. Right. They're just um, going to make money faster than you, too. I mean, you've kept them poor. Yeah. More like you've kept them from becoming rich. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's true. Uh, there's not too much money on the table. Uh, same old thing is going to come out, which means a siphon or knifed, I think, are the two power events that you'd be really worried for. Yeah. Uh, aren't on the table. There is six to four points in r and I mean, in HQ, depending on if you are the corp or the runner with two global food. <laughs> That's true. Uh, but I just don't, I honestly don't it's have a good wrong. way to deal with Architect, which is pretty rough considering the meta right now. Sure. Yeah, uh, one Mimic would go a long way. Yeah, one Mimic would go in the wrong way. In, in my my max decks, I I have three Fems usually. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, with Retrieval just... Run. But uh, yeah, I guess I'm running a pretty different max. Uh, there is another remote out there. I guess we're going to check that. This one is going to land. I could, in theory, pay to trash that. It looks like I'm not going to, but we do get a promotion from that pawn. Hooray! Um, no Sherazada, but I can still install and move without a click. Yep. So we have a knight on the table. Uh, another Ooh. weakness of the Kaisa Ice is ice trashing, which yeah. makes Architect the best bank to keep your knights on. To, yeah, in a, in a way, yeah. Because they cannot trash Architect, so it's not like the runner can, the corp can say, like, oh, I'm going to trash what your knight is on, and then install an agenda. Right. So that's pretty How safe. How often does that come up, do you think? A lot. Oh, yeah? So I, I think I, I trashing knight is huge. We've talked about it coming up when, say, a femme token is on a piece of ice, but yep. knight is a little bit more expensive for the runner. Yeah, because most people don't run deep red or pawn, so if you want a recurrent knight, you have to recur it, you have to install it, you have to move it. Yeah. So not only is that a huge financial, not a small financial loss if you're going to spend a deja vu on that, but also it's just too much time to do. Yeah. So I think uh, I think trashing a knight is probably worth it. Okay. Yeah. Especially you can move it around. I suppose you don't. Yeah. You, yeah. You, it has exactly. more options than a fem token. Yes, yeah, so I was like, uh, kind of consider what the runner's breaker suite is. If you think it's a knight based breaker suite, there's going to be more knights coming. Yeah. But like against a, a max, I would assume there's Fausts or Eaters. So getting rid of a knight is probably only the best to like s to secure remotes. Sure. You need that for remote pressure. A knight yeah. and a femme usually will get you in for two pieces of ice. All right. So he has Res and Adonis now. He's making money. Adonis is ticking down. My econ could jump up a bit. I do have a day job in hand. Uh, yeah. Looks like we're going to go to work. Hello, my name is Susan. I forget what her name tag I says. Think Carol. Carol, yeah, it's Carol. I think the flavor, t the insert says a couple things. She oh, yeah. keeps changing her name. I like that a lot. <laughs> Super excited for that play mat to come out. Oh boy. Yeah, oh, I've, I've seen got it. A, I've I got a win. Oh, it looks real good. Advance, advance, advance. On the remote server. Uh oh. Oh no, just install advance, advance. Sorry, that was installed this turn, I believe. Uh, that is probably the food coat, and this is the beginning of the frustration. I can move my knight there. I could probably DDoS in. There is an upgrade, and at the end of the day, that's only two points for me. But you are denying three points for the You're corp. denying three points to him. He spent money and time doing that. Which is huge. Let's bring up our army of bots. Uh, what are they called when you... Well, and actually, account siphon. Hey, this could be a really strong turn. Photon cannon? Is that what you might call it? No, no, no. When you have, like, dead computers working together to do a DDoS attack. I forget the technical term. Um, it looks like we're going to account siphon in with DDoS. First piece of ice on every server is down which can be huge all of these servers you can get through with knight yeah, that's the whole turn that is an, an extremely powerful card yeah that's huge like now i can poke the remote i could also go and trash that adonis which is pretty good yeah um i think we have two clicks left here so probably move the knight and go that's the only problem with the clunkiness of knight is that you don't have the kind of time to capitalize on that right um last click only allows me to break oh forces me to break one subroutine and of course a Caprice is there to keep you out. That is a Caprice. We are playing the Psy game. Uh, 14 to 6 oh, credits will not give me that big of a read on 
what either of us will bet. No. Uh, with that Adonis in play, it's not that big of a deal about money. Neither of you are going random either. I like that. No, I don't believe in random. It looks like I went two to zero. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's oh, real no. rough. Yep. Um, Adonis is going to tick in. There's a mandatory draw, and I have no doubt you want to score that. Oh, he's going to score that right yeah. away. That's good, though. It doesn't give him time to trash my knight. Uh, it's a global food. Nothing sure. had, nothing really ridiculous happening. Just three points on the table, which is, you know, kind of the win ha way how you win that runner. So yeah. that's always good. Second night in hand. Sure gamble. Money seems good now. I am floating tags. You've got the Shahrazad. You've got you've got most of your your uh, yep. your machine up and running. So night out on the Shahrazad is only going to cost one credit, and I can move that for free. Night for one credit is okay. And first click is moving the other knight onto Architect. Yeah, it looks like that. Cool. Same old thing. It's going to be a Siphon. Uh, looks like... Well, the thing is... There can be a res here right now. And there's a lot of ice that actually could be pretty bad for the Econ here. Right. Uh, Eli is particularly bad. I don't have the clicks to break through it. Uh, I don't want to spend eight just to siphon out three. True. It looks like that might end the run. Um, that's okay. At least I know what is on HQ. Yeah, he, he is a little bit poorer than he used to be. Yeah. Oh, it looks like I'm considering it and consider breaking it. I didn't realize there was an upgrade there. Uh, uh, Roberto was posturing to flip that card. And it's like, wait a second. An upgrade on HQ? You no, know, an upgrade on R&D. Oh. Because with three credits, in theory, if that's like right. a CBS, he, he could, could just dump all it. his money. So yeah. that would be a real big waste of time. You can't even deny money with that Adonis on board. Uh, Adonis is going to figure, uh, it's going to finish out. Still, either five to four points in hand, depending on which side of the table you're sitting at. I think you can just go for it, right? I don't know, because, let's see, there's three siphons in the bin already? Yeah. And two, two same Deja old Vus, things. two same old things you see? Uh, just one, actually, sorry. Yeah, oh, no, just, there's two. No, there's, there's two. two. There's definitely two. Uh, Nadim, I think, is going to do a smart play there. Uh, Roberto? Oh, I can't, I'm sorry. Yeah. We've been watching Nadim for a long time. Sorry, Roberto. Yeah, Roberto is going to install over that architect. Yep, trashing one knight. So one knight down. <laughs> Architect's safe. So now I can't get into HQ for sure. This might be a window he has. I don't know how many credits he needs to res that first piece of ice on the scoring remote and still contest Caprice. Yeah, and we've seen him. You and I have seen a toll booth out there. Yeah, there's That's been be a toll booth around. So the wall static actually on R&D is a pretty big deal on the basis that it's going to cost two to break, which is fine. And yeah. I do have ways to deal with that, like a knife, but you, there's admittedly a pretty bad anti-synergy with knifed and, and the Kaisa. And the Kaisa. Sure. You can kind of fix that a bit with the pawn, but it's just... Or something like an, a Faust, which yeah. you just installed. Oh, hey, yeah, Faust on the table. That's pretty good. No, no, so now we do have some flexibility. Again, Turing is still the problematic card uh, that you do have to worry about. Another Caprice. <laughs> and an Archive Memories. That could be three Caprices if you really needed it. To... I think we've seen three Caprices. I think, well, he, one was shuffled back in. Okay. Yeah, he did a uh, Jackson. I mean, at it, least one his Caprice. first turn we saw two in hand at least. I mean, yeah, it's hard to say. Maybe he's doing three Caprices and... I don't know if you have an influence with it because of food coats. I don't know what else you would put in there. Chrysium, maybe, I think I've seen in a couple decks. Chrysium is, is a Still good Still pretty useful. Uh, I think the Accelerate Beta Test just hit that server. And one advance, that's actually mm. really good. Oh, yeah. uh, it makes me think a couple things. Firstly, NAPD. Yeah. That easily could be an NAPD, which means if I have to get in there, it's going to be some credits as well. Um, I think advancing ice agendas that you think are safe is really good. It makes them, puts them in a weird mind space. Sure, yeah. I like that a lot. Throws them off a little bit. Yeah. I am floating tags, which against HP, largely, that's completely fine. Yeah. I, I wonder if they'd ever get some sort of tag punishment. Yeah. So we've hit the end of the line. We punk rocked as hard as we could and got there to the end. It looks like I'm going to take that huge tempo hit. I always hate this tempo hit. I never yeah. prepare for it enough. It's frustrating. I, as a as a max player myself, it's it's so frustrating. Yeah, to you do have to it. plan two, three turns, being like, okay, my turn's going to end, so I have to continue putting on pressure, but right. I also have five credits that I can spend. And it, it always sucks when the time you choose to do it is when they're about to score an agenda. Yeah. You'd rather do it when you know that they have little credits, they yes. haven't have any, anything installed. Yeah, it's really good after you siphon them down. Right. Um, another huge problem is if you're playing against uh, kill decks and you have I've had worse in your hand and then you get to the end of your deck and your I've had worse become blank cards. Right. That's 
And then you have to you have to levy and then hope you have I've had worse in your hand. Yep. Or you can die. So you levy first, you draw, 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 draw. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I've had worse second click, I believe, after we hit that lab access. Looking for some cards in hand, some econ would be nice. I'd be okay for uh for a dirty laundry. Sure. Um, another problem with the pawn combo is that once you levy your deck, you have to rebuild the pawn combo because there's nothing in your heap. That's a good point. So that gets a bit clumsy. Um, I don't know if I can contest this server. I would have to move the knight and break two things. I do have Faust. I'm going to poke R&D right here. Cool. So if that's is a good combo. Like you said that you with your empty R uh, heap... You don't have any Kaisa to exactly, return, but you can you can throw some stuff out, and that's the idea: is that I drew first, and then think, okay, I have cards in hand, so I could I should use these yeah. just to run. Um, no Rosalind first piece ice. That's gonna be two cards for the wall of static. I'm gonna access the top first. That's a Jackson Howard. That's gonna be fine, and a Cyberdex Fire Suite. That's gonna purge all viruses. I'm gonna trash for one. Actually, sure. me and Ro uh, Roberto do forget to um uh to uh actually purge viruses that parasite should have lost its uh, That's a good tokens point, yeah. that only buys me one more turn of the parasite which i'm assuming he's going to score this turn so that shouldn't matter but that technically is a misplay yep and and relate to what you were saying earlier when the when you, when your programs on, are on their side of the board you are probably going to forget yeah yeah it's easy to forget I think the the corp would be more excited to remember about that one than <laughs> than me. Sure. Uh, it, score, advance, advance, and this is actually such a good play. He just drew Jackson. Yep. And that is why install advance on an accelerated beta test is amazing, because now he can plug that hole. If he, it looks like we're gonna fire, we are off. Uh, three cards. It looks like only one of them is good. That is an Ichi. I think that is gonna go into a server. Even if he hadn't drawn Jackson, though. Advancing it once the turn before, yeah, that, that's the good way to play it. No, it's it's still good, but now he can just throw that now Jackson he, yeah. into a server and save himself if he needs to. Well protected. Yeah. So that Enigma is going to die a turn prematurely. It's not like I was going to contest that server anyways, so not that big of a deal at the end of it. Um, but now that server Ichi into Caprice is rough. Yep. And we are at five points against my lousy two points. A run in archives is going to pop Jackson. It looks like only one of those cards maybe was an agenda. Yeah, another one I think was a breaker bait grid. Mm. So not too much in archives. I haven't been that destructive. It looks like the breaker bait grid, the Donis, and whatever was face down is gonna go back. No pawn on the table to capitalize from that from that free run. And now wow. all I think Roberto has to do is keep money, throw into that server. Yeah. And then the game could easily come down to a Caprice game. Yeah, for sure. Um, if I can grab a global food, I will be at four points. It's still going to take me, I think, two more agendas to win. I don't think th there's any more three pointers. That's a good point. Yeah, there might. He, he might just, just only have be. two pointers and the global foods. Yeah, maybe one fragment. I think fragments are still okay. Yeah, they're still popular. I just think now with the the advent of global food, you don't need that for sure. I'm gonna make some money. I know I'm gonna have to contest soon enough. Uh, throwing out the medium. I don't know why I would do that. I'd actually <laughs> like to poke R and D. Oh yeah, two cards for an R and D poke is good, considering that I'm drawing already. For it, sure, it would slow him down. He would have to deal with that. Uh, I think he has the Jenna in hand. I think he could go for it. Does he, or did he discard his global food? No, there's a food no, he's in there. Still got a global food in there. Is that the agenda he wants to put down though, or is he going to wait for a better opportunity? I don't know. It's all advance, advance would put him down to seven credits with the ETF free credit. Oh, there's there and you there, go. There That's you pretty go. good. Um, that's a Project Vitruvius, a 3-2. That's a 3-2. I don't know if there's fast events in this deck. I am not running Clot or uh, Chicana or anything like that. It looks like we're going to install, gain a credit from that, and advance with that credit. Wow. This is huge. That's interesting that he advances that. I think advancing it is probably the best move he has at this point. Because he's going to make you think it's something else? I think it's the NAPD. Okay. And so you're going to think, I can't possibly get through that. Well, I can get through it because I can break without money. Because I have, uh, firstly, I can click through the Byroid and I have Faust. Right. But you're going to have to play a Caprice game. And then you're going to have to um, steal it for four. Right. Account Siphon is going to probably slow down the game. That's a good start. I think he needs three credits to score that if it's an NAPD. Uh, if he reses that ice, I'm probably happy with that and walk away. Uh, worst comes to worst, that is an architect, but I can fast through it. I can fast through just about anything besides the Turing. Sure. 
And if he does spend four on that, I'm okay, I think. Yeah, you do have him in a tight spot. I mean, he has you in a tighter spot. Yeah. But... He might be overextending the slightest bit. Looks like we're going to have no res. It's going to be four cost, uh, four credits to break that architect, but sure. we are going to siphon up. You make some good money off of that. So 13 to three. If I can make him lose one more credit, we're in a good spot. Ooh, I think that was, I think I, that was two account siphons in a row. Like I milled one right. through one. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Oh my. So I have the same old thing. I can same old thing siphon one more time if that's the <laughs> way we want to go. I need to keep him to no credits. Right. That will buy me a breathing window just to draw maybe answers. It looks like you are same old thing. That same old siphon is going to happen. I think Nadim has no reason. No, no, I keep you saying Nadim. Sorry. Uh, if Robert has no reason not to res that ice. I just got so comfortable commentating Nadim's games. Because we did four Nadim games in a row. <laughs> um, to uh, res that. Yeah, Eli is the answer. I'm fine with that. He has no credits now. No campaigns on the table. If there was an Adonis, that would be a completely different game. Right. Uh, but no, ooh, you, you... Assassin. That's great. Yeah, Assassin's That's a great a new card. Pretty good include into these glacier decks yeah big fan of that card so nadim can install sorry uh roberto can install <laughs> 13 I, I didn't swear uh roberto can install to make a credit but it looks like just credit up one two three yep and that's all he needs yeah and pressure's back and pressure is back on i cannot probably deny money considering two siphons are in the bin but i think i can contest and this is a really good point is now caprice gets a lot worse considering that he needs what I think is three credits. Right, you think he needs three credits. He really only needs two. Yeah. That puts him in a very interesting position. That is going to be real tense here. Uh, I think, yeah, okay. So click one, I'm going to run. Click, click, takes me through the biroid. And you're probably going to take the trace? I don't know. I can pay, I have the money to deal with the trace. It's only trace one on exactly. it. Exactly. So I can pay one. Yeah, it's only trace one. I have no, no, he's not going to boost that. No, no, he would never. Yeah, so we're going to pay through that. Second piece of ice with Faust. I think I have six cards in hand. Maybe actually just five. I don't think Roberto can afford to res that ice. And contest Caprice, obviously. No. Let alone square the agenda. Unless that's... Boy. We're reaching for the credits. That looks like right. we are playing a side game. So I think if I bet zero, he has to bet at least one, and that's going to put him outside of scoring range. And outside of NAPD, yeah. Outside of NAPD, yeah. But if he bets one, he's still within Vitruvius range. That is true. Which... This is something I don't know, obviously. We right. saw his hand, and I think uh, Roberto played this incredibly well right. so this is, far. This is the key. This is what makes side games so wonderful. Yeah. So for sure, he's not playing two, right? So I think this is a 50-50. Um, I went zero against one. Okay, so that's fine. I do have another click. I can run into that server if I want. It uh, looks do. like I am. I think I have to. I think this this is obviously a game point if I don't. Um, it is a lot of cards to deal with that Ichi, and this is the kind of rig that I think is actually pretty, pretty. Uh, I can build that up again with Max. It looks like we have two trash, trace one. I'm gonna pay for it. Pay for that. So with two credits, I think I can steal this, and I don't think he can score. So if I bet zero, he can't score next turn. Right. If, you if, bet, if that's yeah, an no, NAPD. No, what. no, no, he's... Oh, I think he still can. Well, if he bets zero, you take the agenda. Yeah, well, you, well you, of course, yeah. Okay, zero to one, so he's at one credit. I think... Okay, so we're in a good spot. Wow. As of right now. <laughs> So, this confused Wait. me so hard. So, Nadim just took a credit and advanced, advanced. Yeah, and then I Roberto did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Roberto took a credit, advanced, advanced, and that's it. That's enough. I forgot about that, too. Exactly. <laughs> that's amazing. I think that install advance was huge and yeah. really well played because that Caprice became less of a random chance game, and he actually outsmarted me really, really well with yeah. that. Which is so much, it's so satisfying to watch that happen while you're in the room here. Yeah. Watching you be outsmarted. Super well played, Roberto. Oh, so sorry that I keep calling you Nadim. Um, amazingly played. I was just completely floored for a second. Like, that was a great side that's game. incredibly clever. Great mind games here. Yeah. Well, hey, uh, I think that was exactly the strength of Foucault's with a really interesting play right there at yeah. the end. Um, so we are off into the second game of this third round. Uh, this is going to be prepaid, Kate. 
probably. It's Kate. It's I Kate. keep saying prepay. Yeah, I guess you can zoom. And gets my Titan again. Um, w this has worked once so far. Maybe I can work my magic again. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll find out yeah. real soon. Thanks so much for watching. That was an exciting game. Uh, stay tuned for the future. Bye, guys. Ciao. I would feel stupid bet bidding one and then losing when it's an <laughs> I'd rather have that. He played the shit out of me. Oh, yeah. I was so excited I when totally that happened. I totally forgot that he could just click for credits. Yeah. So